Hi, I'm Ray Charbonneau and I'm out here in Newton on the marathon course to talk with some of the people that are out here for their last training run. It's three weeks before the marathon and today is the day when there are traditionally a lot of people out here in the Newton Hills getting in one last run before the marathon. Hi, my name is Rob Berkey. I'm out here running for Dana Farber. Okay, and what one thing do you want everybody to know about you? About me? Um, I actually think this is fun. How you doing? I'm Brian Albano. I'm from Newton, Massachusetts. I'm actually a Newton firefighter. I work at the station at the corner. Uh, we have a team of 10 this year. We're training for the marathon. Okay, and what one thing would you like the world to know about you? <laughs> dedication, baby. It takes dedication. All right, thanks. Have a good day. Hey there, I'm Eric Mackland uh, from Wayland, Mass. Uh, getting in a few hills here before Boston comes up. Okay, and what would you like the world to do if it could tell them to do anything? Oh boy, uh, I'd be more tolerant of people with different uh, opinions and a little more peace in the world go a long way. This is Jojo, she's from Newton. I'm Liz, I'm also from a place called Newton, which is where we are right this minute. And I'm Michael and I'm from Newton. And why are you out here today? Keep the pounds off. <laughs> ah. Okay, and if you could tell the world anything about yourselves, what would you tell them? Don't run. <laughs> it's not good for your health. <laughs> no, that we're, we're so terrific, it isn't easy being us. <laughs> That's what Michael would say. I would say, no, actually, running is, if, if you do it, which is hard to do, if you do it in moderation, it's probably really good for you. But if you use it as medication, which is what a lot of other people do, exactly, it's, it can wear out your bones. So you should try to cross train if you can. Kim Coppinger, Newburyport. Teresa Ridgeway. Newburyport. <laughs> Newburyport. Kyla, Newburyport. Tate, Newburyport. Amy, Newburyport. What are you guys doing here today? <laughs> Having <Training>. fun. <laughs> Last long run for Boston. All right, and if you're going to tell anybody one thing, what would you tell them? Lordy, somebody else go. Have oh. joy in your running. I'm Jeff Stein. I'm from Winchester, Massachusetts. We're out. Running 22 miles, getting ready for the big day. I'm Jay Dalbin, I'm from Winchester. I currently live in Switzerland, and I'm doing the same thing. All right, and if you, what one thing would you want to tell any of the other runners out there? Just keep running. Keep plugging. Yeah, it's just a long way, but just keep your head down and run. Okay, my name is Ruth Karasek, and I'm running with the Dana Farber um, Challenge Team. I'm running for Dana Farber and Research for Cancer, and I'm doing 22 miles, my last. Long run before I start to taper. Yay! <laughs> and what one thing would you want to tell everybody in the world, whatever it is? Well, I'm 65 and I just started running a couple of years ago, so never say never. Howard Barnstone. And where are you from, Howard? Yeah. Okay, what you doing out here today? Jogging. Getting uh, ready for a half marathon. All right, and if you could tell anybody one thing, what would you tell them? Enjoy your life and your time on this earth. I'm Steve, I'm from Newton, and I'm taking a walk with my friend Larry. And he invited me along and here I am, I'm Larry. <laughs> and what do you guys have anything to say to all the runners that are out here today? Have a good day, great spring day. Yeah. It's yeah. nice, I mean we can't move as fast as they do, but uh, it's fun to watch. Alright, thanks for your time. I'm Sarah McLaughlin and I'm out training for the Boston Marathon. Alright, and if you could tell anybody in the world anything, what would you tell them? Oh God, uh, the hills are hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. So my name is Erin Kandemar, and I live in Newton, uh, Lower Falls, and I'm on a long run today, uh, training for the marathon. All right, and if you could tell that truck to not come by just now. Truck, don't come by. <laughs> it's too early for the mail. <laughs> uh, what would you like everybody to know about you? Um, just that um, I have two kids and I'm having a great day. It's perfect weather for a run and I'm really excited about the marathon. Hi, I'm Joni Lavasha. I am out here running training for the Boston Marathon coming up in a few weeks. Okay, and if you wanted to tell anybody any one thing about you, what would you tell them? Uh, what would I tell them? I would tell them that, uh, um, oh, what would I tell them? I don't know, that's tricky. Um, I don't know. I have a have a big heart. Joe Rogers from Newton. And what you doing out here today, Joe? I'm taking the dog for a run. It's a weekend run. All right. And if you could tell anybody any one thing about yourself, what would you tell them? Uh, I like to 
Hi, I'm Sarah Simonelli. I'm running for the Melanoma Foundation of New England, and I'm here running for my mom today for the oh. Boston Yarmouth Club. Okay, and if you could tell anybody any one thing, what would you tell them? Keep on running. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. Okay. Hi, I'm Sue Doucette. I'm John Mintonen. And we are on the hills of Newton training for the Boston Marathon. Okay, and if you could tell the world any one thing, what would you tell them? Oh. Um, look for us, cheer for us, we're going to need the help. Just have fun, enjoy it, enjoy life. I run, I love it, it makes me happy. Good morning, I'm Stuart Kaufman, I run with Somerville Roadrunners. I am in an 18 mile easy pace today is my training for Boston and I'm about three miles from the end. All right, Stuart, if you could tell the world any one thing, what would you tell them? Um, I made 65 and if I can do it, anybody can do it. I'm Will Twombly. I live in Watertown and I'm uh, out to try to do between 10 and 11 today. Okay, and if you could tell the world any one thing, what would you tell them? Go out running. Hey, how's it going? I'm Micah Saletto from uh, Arlington, Massachusetts. Just uh, came out here to do a training run for the marathon, uh, 22 miles today. Uh, just to get ready and beautiful day, beautiful day to run. Okay, if you could tell anybody in the world any one thing, what would you tell them? Hey, I just want to say uh, hi to my mom. She's a couple thousand miles away, so you know, hi, I love you, and uh, can't wait to see you next time we get together. John, Johnny from Boston, running for Teddy's team. Jen from Dorica running for Teddy's team. Okay, and if you could tell the world any one thing, what would you tell them? <laughs> Cherish your loved ones. <laughs> <laughs> Work hard. Hi, I'm Greg. I'm from uh, the Berkshires in Western Massachusetts. I live in Boston and I work for Massachusetts Ironeer. Go Team Ironeer! Alright, and if you could tell the world any one thing, what would you tell the world? Don't stop. Never hurry, never stop. Uh, Kevin Bernier from uh, Natick, Mass. I'm out training for the marathon. Today I'm doing a 22 mile run, uh, running with the Dana-Farber Marathon Challenge Team. Okay, and if you could tell the world any one thing, what would you tell them? <laughs> Our break hill is right up there. <laughs> and it's not as bad as it seems. Hey, I'm Mary Miller. I'm Dick Miller. And we're uh, running for the Melanoma Foundation of New England. We're from Shrewsbury, Mass. Yeah. Okay, and if you could tell the world any one thing, what would you tell them? Be sure to check out our website and help uh, raise awareness for melanoma. <laughs> Keep running. <laughs> All right, thanks. My name is Harmesh Sharma. I am 68 years old. This is my seventh marathon I am preparing for. And this is my 20 mile run, probably the toughest week. And after this, it will be paper. Hopefully, I finish it. And hopefully, I keep on running. Thank All you right, very much. And and if you could tell the world any one thing, what would you tell them? Run. Sunita Sharma, Team Brigham, first time marathoner. <laughs> Jackie McNeil, Ameri uh, American Liver Foundation, first time marathon. Okay, and uh, what would you like the world to know about you? We're running to support running. great causes, so please support us. Yes. My name is Mike Strupa. I'm a Sergeant in uh, Army National Guard from Massachusetts, and I'm out here ruck marching with 35 pounds on my back to raise money for the Samaritans to raise awareness about depression and suicide. I lost my uncle and my dad to suicide within the past two or three years. And I just want to show my fellow brothers and sisters in the armed services that you can get the help. You're not alone no matter how hard, you f how hard life is, no matter how bad you feel. Okay, and if there's one thing you want to tell everybody about yourself, what would it be? Uh, my training regime consisted of pizza, Dunkin' Donuts, beer, and coffee. Hi, my name is Michael McDuffie. I live in Newton, Massachusetts, and right now I'm out here training for the Umstead 100 Mile Ultra Marathon. And if you could tell the world any one thing about yourself, what would it be? Any one thing about myself? Um, I like running because it's cheaper than therapy. <laughs> I'm Mike Russells. I'm out doing a little training for the marathon. Okay, and if you could tell the world any one thing about yourself, what would you tell them? Oh, golly. Uh, running is great. Enjoy it a lot. I think I've still got another marathon or two left in me. <laughs> I'm returning 60 a couple weeks after Boston this year. Slowing down, still moving. Carl Bell, Chesterfield, Massachusetts. 
and I'm running up this very long hill. <laughs> okay, and if you could tell the world any one thing, what would you tell them? Be well. Hi, I'm Rosa Yvor from Brockton, Massachusetts, and I'm Teresa Norton from Abington. And we run Colonial Road Runners, yeah. and we're here practicing for the 16th, <laughs> and we're dying and going up the hill. We're feeling good though. Yes, really we're good. good. We feel All good. right, and if you could tell the world any one thing, what would you tell them? Never run! Give up. Never give up! <laughs> Don't give up! Don't stop! Run! <laughs> Hi, I'm Sean O'Brien. I'm from Williams, Massachusetts. I'm out here training for the Boston Marathon. Okay, and if you wanted to tell the world any one thing, what would you tell them? No. This, the course is phenomenal. This is my fourth time running, and it's fantastic. And uh, I don't know. All right, I'm great. too tired to think of world peace. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good run. Hey, this is Tor Kirilais. I'm from North Reading, and this is my friend Jen Popowitz, and I'm from Salem, New Hampshire. And we're here to run the course early in the morning. That's okay. Right. And if yeah. ah, you I got more. And these are our friends. friends. <laughs> and if you could tell the world any one thing, what would you tell them? Just do it. I, well, agree. I, I know it's a Nike thing, but you know, if you want to do it, what else are you doing? If you want to do it, there's no, there's no, there's no reason you cannot do it. Set your mind to it and do it. Just do it. And that's what yeah. we're doing here. Today. What else are you doing? Hey, Jonathan Hawkins uh, from Monrovia, Indiana. Now live in South Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, out here doing my 21 mile run, getting ready for Boston. All right, and if you could tell the world any one thing, what would you tell them? Run every chance you get. Lucas Carr. Matt Brown. From Norwood, Massachusetts. Oh. You're training for the marathon I'm today? I'm training for the marathon, just like everybody else. All right, and if you could tell the world any one thing, what would you tell the world? Never quit, Matt. Grabbing light poles. That's what we're doing. All right, thanks. All Have right. a good run. Rangers lead the way. Mm. Hi, oh, yeah. I'm Melissa. I'm Dawn, and we're part of the Colonial Roadrunners. We're both Boston, running the Boston Marathon, and we're doing 22 and a half. We're at 17 and three quarters right now, so feeling good. All right, if you could tell the world any one thing, what would you tell them? I gave up chocolate for wine, that's all I'm craving right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all for today. From the Hills in Newton, I'm Ray Charbonneau. <laughs> Stop and get them off.